Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Bob with Simply Mac in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to show you how you can restore your Apple TV from your computer or from the Apple TV itself. If you do it from your computer, you can actually save your Apple TV's firmware to the computer itself. So, why would you need to do this? Well, if your Apple TV is having major problems, like maybe not connecting to the internet or not playing videos correctly, you may need to restore the settings so that it sort of wipes out the operating system and starts afresh. You will have to set up everything again, like uh, your Wi-Fi password, your Apple ID for home sharing, but if you're troubleshooting, then this is the best way to do it. So we're going to come over here into our settings, and we're going to click General, and then we're going to go all the way to the bottom. So you can click all the way down and go here to Reset. Resetting your Apple TV, like I said, clears out everything. So this is only to be done for a major troubleshooting issue or maybe if you're trying to get your Apple TV sold. You can choose Reset All Settings, which will just erase the settings like your Wi-Fi and your uh, home sharing username, or Restore, and Restore actually wipes out the operating system. Now, if you're having trouble doing a restore, like maybe you're troubleshooting your Apple TV, you've tried restore, it's still not working, you can do it from your computer as well. And to do that, what you're going to need is an extra cable. This is a micro USB cable, and you can pick them up at an electronic store. They're really cheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Apple TV here, and I'm actually going to unplug all the cables from it. I'm going to unplug the power, unplug HDMI, and I have an Ethernet cable as well. So I'm going to unplug all of those so I just have the Apple TV. I'm going to grab my micro USB cable and plug in this end, and then grab the USB and plug it in here to my Mac. You can also do this on a PC, so if, if you don't have a Mac, you're not left out. Now, if you have an Apple TV second generation, the little light here on the front will automatically light up if you just plug it in USB. Mine's a third generation, however, so now I do need to plug in the power. And yes, you do need to do it in this order. So the Apple TV will take just a moment. You'll see the light begin flashing, and it will begin flashing quite rapidly here in just a moment. There it goes. So now our Apple TV is in recovery mode, or DFU for short, and we can go ahead and we can click Restore Apple TV. What that will do is it will go ahead and it will download the Apple TV firmware from apple.com and then put it right on your computer. So that way, if you needed to restore your Apple TV again, it would just be a quick snap. That's how you can go ahead and put the firmware on your computer that you need to restore your Apple TV.